everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel it's been a while since i've just kind of sat down and like kind of recorded a video so it's going to be a first today i guess or, well not a first but um a first in a while that's for sure so i'll be picking my team of the seasons for the english premier league and uh, without further ado <coughs> let's get into it so i've tried to be a little different um with it today so there'll be a few things you might not agree with rather than the old boring so for my goalkeeper i've gone with emmy martinez um sometimes can have the odd mistake in him but he's saved villa <clears throat> loads of times uh this season and Without him and his crucial saves, I remember he made a penalty save on his debut. And without him and his saves, Villa could be, well, they would be well more down the league than they are now. A couple of honourable mentions go to Nick Pope, who's had a really, really solid season with, um, with, of course, Burnley. And uh, I've been impressed with him. But he does have the odd mistake in him. Uh, so that's why I haven't picked him. And Edison, I feel like he just gets a bit like more protected by his back four. Uh, more of the back four and he doesn't really have a lot to do. That's why I haven't gone with him. I've got my notes on my phone. Um, so I've gone for Luke Shaw at um, left back because what needs to be said about him he's had a fantastic season one players player of the year at uh, manchester united and um yeah he's had a really solid season sure back from that injury he had a rocky start to the season but he's rather made an immense for it <clears throat> from what he's been doing recently and that's so center back none other than ruben diaz can't really argue with that one. What needs to be said about him? Uh, I've gone for Maguire at centre-back. Um, as much as the memes go about him, uh, he is a pretty solid centre-back. Maybe first, up until Christmas, he had a bit of a rocky spell. But after the new year, uh, he's been really solid at centre-back. Right back, Cancelo. He did get a red card against Brighton, but oh well, everyone has their moments. Uh, he's been really solid as well. Um, can kind of drifts into that centre mid position as well. Uh, centre midfielder, we've gone for Ilkay Gundogan. Now he's been real good for um, for City this season, and uh, he's been a big part of their success when they were like sitting bottom half of the league by uh, uh, the kind of beginning of the season. After the, that spell, he and Foden was one of the real players who kind of stepped up to that level to kind of help City on their way back. Um, I've gone for... Let's have a look. I've gone for Fernandes uh, in the cam position. I'm playing a 4-3-3, three, three, by the way. So, um... Gone for Fernandez in that centre attacking midfielder. He's saved United on so many occasions. Call him Fernandez. Call him Fernandez. But there was a t time in the season where he had. Uh, it might still be true. I'm not sure. But he has more goals from like open play than any other like midfielder this season. So that kind of um, makes the heaters worry a little bit. And, hmm, I did, oh yeah, of course, Mason Mount, what needs to be said about him, special player, he really is, Mason Mount is uh, one of the best in the league, and um, when he really broke onto the scene last season, M Mount was just a fantastic player, honourable mentions go to Smith Rowe, he's been one of the big ones who've stepped up for Arsenal as long along with Saka, he's been really pivotal and crucial to their season. Um, Basuma as well, he's had a brilliant season with Brighton. Uh, not, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets swooped up from 
one of the bigger clubs in the summer or a future transfer window. Uh, Suchek, what needs to be said about him? He's just had a brilliant season with West Ham. <clears throat> and Lingard, who's came in with such short notice, but barely playing like any football the whole season. And uh, got to put Messi, Lingardinho in there. So this is where it gets more controversial and um, and a bit more interesting. I've gone for left wing with Neto. And he's really stepped up this season, Pedro Neto. And um, he, oh, I can just see a, like, a city um, coming in for him or something. He's such a talented player, Neto. And uh, yeah, he's really stepped up for Wolves in Wolves' average season. Um, I've gone for Kane in uh, central attack as the striker. Um, what needs to be said? Joint top goal scorer at the moment, and uh, he just has to has to be really done. He? And he's been so good in this terrible Spurs team. Um, I've gone for the right wing. In recent months, this player has been top level, um, and that's Riyad Mahrez. There's no denying what a fantastic player he is. Mahrez is so good. Um, Honourable mentions go to Grealish. But the reason why I haven't put him in is his injuries. His shins seem to have a big problem there. Um, also, Mohamed Salah also dropped on his score in the league. Um, the reason why I didn't put him in was just... He's just like... He's just scored all his chances, really. I know that's good, but... He hasn't really done like much else apart from just score the goals that he should be scoring. That's kind of all he's really done. So this the team should be on screen now. That is my team. If my finger will stop disappearing through the green screen. Oh well. That is my team. Should be somewhere over here. Team's on screen. Let me know in the comments if you disagree with it or agree with it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!